Hello, my classy, classy people. How y'all doing? My name is Wayne Bolden. I'm your speed king. You know what to do. Turn your closed captures on. And guess what? Our tip sheets, they're out, folks. Let me know if you've received yours. If you didn't, please email me at speedking24 at yahoo.com. There is the Black Eye Susan, all 13 races. And there is your Preakness Stakes. Our top three or four picks in each and every race with our win probability. Both days, 20 bucks. Email us, speedking24 at yahoo.com. And guess what? The jazz in the background is free. Zero money down, no charge for my classy people. How you doing, ladies? As always, you know we give them big props. Well, let's take a look at a few of the stake races on uh, Preakness Saturday. We're going to take a peek at the Jim McKay Turf Sprint. Race number 12, right before the big dance, the Preakness. The race that I'm going to run epicenter over. No, you did not just said it. Let's take a look at Jim McKay's stakes race. It is the turf spread. As always, of course. Well, I got an opinion in this race. This is for three-year-olds and up. They're going five panels. It's $100,000. It's race number 12. I'm just going to run through these quick. Don't want to make the videos long, right? It's a field of 10. The number one horse bank trained by my guy, Ass Musin. Oh, Bank has four wins from 11 starts and four thirds. Got Joel Rosario, the genius, is in the arms. Of course, by Bernardini, Bank is overmatched here. This is not a turf horse, right? Ass Musin or no Ass Musin. This is the second time I'm throwing them out before today. I don't like Bank in this spot. Caratari. Caratori. Right? Well, the number two horse probably is the horse to beat in here. It's won a, a third of uh, his races. Eight wins from 24 starts, uh, six seconds and three thirds. Okay, Brian Lynch is our trainer. You got Louie in the arms. That's right. Saez has got the services. This horse is making a six-year-old debut off of a 140-day layoff. Speed figures are fantastic. Nine to five on the morning line. The number two horse, Caro uh, Tari is an extremely nice horse, and this horse has to be on your ticket. Top and bottom, any which way you play this, exotics, you have to use the number two. The number three horse to me, seven cents. Well, this is another horse to me. It's just improving with each and every start by Golden Sense, trained by the untouchable barn of Brad Cox. And all his merry horses flow is in the yards. What else is new? The number three, seven cents. Again, four to one on the morning line. Horses coming back after a 27-day layoff, uh, exiting an allowance race that he won. Uh, by a neck over there at Keeneland. So again, I expect the number three to run just as well as the number two, Caro Tari. Caro Tari, of course. Number three is a strong contender in the Jim McKay. Well, Arthur's Hope, the number four horse. Well, Arthur's Hope is without any hope other than he's going to the starting gate. This is not a turf horse. The old timer, the eight year old, we tip our hat to him for staying healthy and being able to still run. Mr. Lopez is in the yards. 13 wins from 45 starts. You need to put a little respect on Arthur Hope's name, but he's not winning this race. 20 to 1. Let's throw the number 4 off the ticket. Mr. Hustle. Everybody likes to hustle. You know boys and girls from the 70s. Hustle, right? Y'all know the deal. Oh, the number 5, Mr. Hustle, has 3 wins from 15 starts. And I'm not mad at you. It's money-making, Mike. That's right. You know what Mike Maker does. He makes plenty of money. Well, I mean, I don't know how he can get this horse to win, but Mike Maker does some amazing things. Speed figures are a cut or two below the top horses in here. Does have Irad Ortiz. The horse is by declarations of war. They paid $235,000 for this five-year-old back there in 2018. So Mr. Hustle, the number five at 10 to 1, is surely a horse you can use underneath in exactly strides and supers. I don't think he's a win contender here, but Mike Maker has shot me before. I would use Mr. Hustle underneath in exotics. The number six horse. This horse is just like Mr. Hustle. The number six, Smoking J, sneaky good, making his four-year-old debut, four wins from 13 starts. You can't shake no stick at that. And I'm telling you right now, 
Jose Ortiz is in the arms. This horse has been away for 141 days, making his four-year-old debut. I said it once, I say it again. I always like horses that have had a beautiful three-year-old line making their four-year-old debut. I expect them to be better when they return, have filled out, have improved, have matured, um, better than they when they left. I mean, this is the height of their season. So, Smoke and Jade, and he has every right to continue to improve. He is 6-1 to one on the morning line. And just like with Mr. Hustle, I don't think uh, Smoke and Jade can win the race. But again, you know, 6-1. to one. I would surely use him underneath just like I would Mr. Hustle in any exotics, uh, exactors, tries, or uh, super factors. The number six, four-year-old debut. Should be pretty good. The number seven, well, here's me right here. That is a Grateful Bre uh, Breed. Well, Grateful Breed, the number seven, has five wins from 12 starts. No, you did not. I just told you the horse. This is horse. I like this horse a bunch here, y'all. You know, I get excited like this. You know where, I mean, I tip my mitt all the time, right? I don't do a good job at concealing what I like. I like the number seven, Grateful uh, Breed. Um... You know, five wins from 12 starts. This horse is by great notion. This six-year-old is lightly raised, but the horse gets, you know, does handle his business, right? Myers is our trainer of record. And I tell you right now, this horse is making his second race off of a layoff, which was 182 days. Came back April 23rd, ran second behind True Valor, and now has got 30, 28 days from that race. Second race off the layoff, ran a decent speed figure, and I expect that to improve here, right? The horse is 6-1 to one on the morning line, the number 7 Grateful Breed, and I think that'll be my top pick here, for sure, the number 7 horse in this here spot, for sure. Well, the number 8 horse, well, I'm going to throw this horse out real quick, the Wolfman, right? 5 wins from 13 starts. Again, the number 8 horse has really never done nothing wrong. 30 to 1 is a huge price on the Wolfman, right? 5 wins from 13 starts. This 4-year-old by uh, Bandbox is a very, very nice horse. Solomon is our trainer at 17%. And again, this is not a turf horse. That's why we're throwing the 8, the Wolfman, off the ticket. Well, Hollis, not Hollis, Queens, just the number nine, Hollis. Well, look at this seven-year-old gal, right, a uh, seven-year-old guy, right, street sense, right, Ortiz is our trainer. And again, here's another horse that's just not a turf horse, or at least he hasn't run on the turf since last year. Now, when he has run on the turf, he ran some decent races, right? So, I don't like Hollis in this spot in terms, maybe he could win this race. He is a very hard-hitting horse, though. Hollis, this seven-year-old, could flat-out run. Maybe I'll just use Hollis as maybe my third pick, but I wouldn't leave him off underneath, for sure. And the last horse in the race is without a chance, Concrete Glory. Well, the only thing concrete here about this horse is... I don't think the horse is going to win this race. But again, just like Hollis and just like the Wolfman, the number 8, you can't really argue the number 10 horse record. Four wins from 13 starts by, Bowden, by Bodie Meister. And again, Brooks is our trainer and cruises in the yarns. This is just not a turf horse. Okay, the number 10 horse, Concrete Glory. So we're going to throw him out. So... In the Jim McKay Stakes race, my top pick is going to be the number seven, Grateful Breed, at six to one. Our second horse will be the horse we believe they all have to beat at nine to five. That is uh, Carol Tari, Car Carol Tari, Brian Lynch's horse, the number two horse. And our third pick would be the number three horse, Seven Cents. So for us, it's seven. Two, three, in that order in the Jim McKay State. Let me know what you think, folks. As always, of course, uh, tip sheets are out. Email us if you want them, right? Little jazz for you. Thanks. Enjoy yourself coming up this weekend. My name is Wayne Bolden. I'm your speed king in the Jim, uh, in the Jim McKay States. We like seven, two, three, in that order. Talk to you. Enjoy the jazz. My pleasure.